Hey guys, Dr. Five here with another episode of our Leo career mode. We are into season three. And you can see there, that man has joined us, Eden Hazard. And unfortunately, Jose Fonte has left us. Now, what we're going to be doing this season is we're going to be building a super team. And we will be trying to go invincible in the league. This first episode is going to be post-com. Every episode on is going to be live commentary. And as soon as we lose our first game in the league... We will be looking for a new club to join. We'll be joining that club on this save and we'll be continuing on our journey. Kind of similar to what uh, Masterbucks and Chani are doing. They're doing a kind of career manager journeyman career mode kind of thing. We're going to be doing that, but well, that style where we move to a different team. So yeah, we're selling on the Deadwood to fund ourselves being able to buy some beast players, shall we say. The first of which that I want to sign is a new centre-back. And our three options. Number Option number one is 27-year-old, 89-rated Rafael Varane, who joined Juventus. His current value is 65 million. We're going to offer 70. They want 121 million. I'm not paying over 100 million for a defender. 85 million. Again, they're going 121. They don't want any less than that. So we're going to move on to option number two. That is 26-year-old, 90-rated, Samuel Umtiti from Barcelona. His current value is 77.5 million. They want 142 million. Again, I'm not going over 100. So if they're going to keep going with 142, we will be moving on to our third and final option. We go up straight 99 million. Like the highest I will go, 99.9999999999. And they reject it. So we move on to our third option. It is 26-year-old, 88-rated Imeric Laporte. His current value is 57.5 million. We're going to offer 67.5. They won 107, so it's much closer to 100, which is our, our barrier, our top barrier, our ceiling. So we go 80 million plus a sell-on fee. They go 90.1. We go 90. They go 99.1. We try and get it down a little bit to 95. But no, Pep is adamant on 99.1. I'm willing to pay that because it's under the 100 threshold. And we can move on to contract talks. So he's going to be a crucial first team player. Four years at the club until he's 30. He wants a release clause. I don't want a release clause. 157 is too low anyway. So I tried to get 200. He was adamant on 157. I tried again, 175. And in the end, I just got rid of it. And we moved on to his wages. He's currently on 240 at Man City. Here he will be on 250, making him our highest paid player. We then have an offer from Maignan, the 86-rated 25-year-old goalkeeper. This offer is from RB Leipzig, who I know have a lot of money. They've got that Red Bull money. So, we offer their, their chief to come over. They have an offer of 41.9. I would like to raise that to 55 million. And they go ahead and accept that. 55 million for a goalkeeper. Not too bad when we've got Budani who can cover for him. We've got three games in this episode. And I'm only showing the goals. Just because it's a post-com. And I don't want to commentate on non-goal highlights. So you can see, five minutes in, that's pretty early for a goal. Especially against PSG. And this clip is just going to show you how dangerous we are going to be this season. Kenny Lala charging forward. Plays it into Ikone. Look how much space he's got. Threads one through to Leal. Near post. Knocks it past Kevin Trapp, and it is 1-0, seven minutes into this game against the team that were three seasons ago. They were the best team in France, but we have taken that title from them. 24 minutes in, Mbappe crosses it, headed away by the man making his debut, Imeric Laporte. Ikone is charging forward, plays it through to Rafael Leal, the top scorer for the past two seasons. He's going to look to continue that as he cuts inside past Kerr and strikes one past Kevin Trapp. He's got the brace. 26 minutes into this game. He's already looking for the hat trick. And he's got another hour to try and do so. And when you've got Hazard, Pepe and Ikone behind you. You are going to get that hat trick very, very quickly. Nabil Bentaleb plays him through. And has very quick reactions. He dinks that one over the top of Kevin Trapp. And he gets his hat trick 32 minutes into the game. I said he had an hour to do so. It only took him another two minutes. You know, he is... Starting, well, he's picking up where he left off last season, scoring a lot of goals. 38 minutes in. Hazard tries to dispossess the ball, can't quite do so. Laporte gets the better of Rabio, and he actually starts an attack here with a nice little pass. 
to Eden Hazard, first time into Bentaleb, through to Mendes. And now look at this attack. Ikone, he's got Hazard on the inside. He's going to pick him out. Dribbles into the box, finesses it past Trap. That same corner where Rafael Liao has scored his previous two goals. And in the 41st minute, Eden Hazard scores on his debut and he makes it 4-0. How about that? Into the hour mark. It's cleared off the line by Hernandez. Pepe looks to clear it away to Bentaleb. And we do so get it to Hazard. He then gets tackled by Verratti. The ball's played to Aubameyang. Played through to Lo Celso. Nice driven shot. Well saved by Budani. But if does fall right back to Lo Celso. And he can tuck home the rebound. I'm pretty sure he's permanently signed for Real Betis in real life. So he shouldn't actually be here. Bullshit game. We should be still be 4-0 up. But there you go. The game ends as a 4-1 victory. Leal gets the match ball. I will leave you with a title celebration and a bit of music, and I'll be back right after. So it's pretty obvious who the player in the match is going to be. It is Rafael Leao. He got the hat-trick. And whenever you get a hat-trick, you do get the 10.0 rating. And we move into our first game in League. 1. We're away from home against Stad the Reims. Now I'm going to just show you their team. Because you know what our team is going to be. It's going to be pretty much the exact same squad every single game this season. And again, this one has one other highlight apart from the goals. But that is just a really nice chance that they had. And a really, really, really lucky goal line clearance. I'll show you the goal line technology as well in this next clip. But look how close that was. Budani, the reactions he's got. This is it's him being 18. Mike now wouldn't be able to do that because he's 25. But it's those young reactions that he's got. Look how close that is. Look how much of the ball is not over the line. That is so so, so close to going 1-0 down on our first game of the season, which nobody wants. You know, nobody wants that to be going 1-0 down. 37 minutes in, the, the attack is starting for us, and the ball is played through all the way through to Ikone. He has the time, he has the space, he drills the shot, and he makes it 1-0. And, you know, he was um, second choice to Erdegaard for a majority of last season. And he's just turned it on. He's just become such a good player. And he's really like come into his element. And he's had another shot there that could have went in against another team. But it results in another corner. And Imeric Laporte scores on his debut in League Earn. So how about that? Hazard League Earn, uh sorry. Hazard goal in the debut in the Trophy de Champions. And Laporte goal debut on his league and debut and uh, with one minute left they do score a consolation goal but player of the match is Jonathan Nakone one goal a 9.2 rating not going to disagree with that he had a very good performance and before the final game of the episode I'm going to try and sign Bruno Fernandes an 88 rated 25 year old Portuguese cam you can see there his release clause is 84 million and I wasn't quite sure if I could pay that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin negotiations with the team, Sporting Lisbon. No, sorry, Sporting. It's not Sporting Lisbon. Sporting. And if I can get him for less than 84 million, then that's brilliant. If I can't get him for less than 84 million, I will end negotiations, come back in a week's time, and sign him for his uh, for his release clause. So I'm going to offer him his current value, and you can see there they want 113 million. That is much, much more than his release clause. So what we'll do, we'll play this game against Man United and we will, in the next episode, come back, play his release clause and we'll have an 88 rated, mil, uh, 88 rated cam 
to join our attack. But the Super Cup here, the Champions League winner versus the Europa League winner, we're taking on Manchester United. And four minutes in, the French left-back Roussillon, who they signed from Wolfsburg, goes and makes it 1-0 to them. But Ikone played through, better of Lindelof and Sula, and then gets the better of David De Gea as he makes it 1-1 in the 15th minute. And the, uh, you know, he scored in the previous three games, no, two games, sorry, he scored two games in a row and put in a good performance in the game against PSG. And I'm going to replace him by Bruno Fernandes. You can see here, 22 minutes in, I thought we'd made it 2-1. Unfortunately, Hazard was offside. But my thinking is, Bruno Fernandes is 88 rated. And if I'm doing these kind of things with a Kone, who's 82 rated, plus six ratings onto that, we should be doing absolute... Just stuff that shouldn't happen on a football pitch, is what we'll be doing. But Pepe, from an impossible angle there, curls it past like three defenders, plus David De Gea. And that is a really nice finish. He makes it 2-1. Gives us the lead for the first time in the match. Rashford with a great save. It actually hits Budani on the chest. And because he's diving... It goes into the net with him, unfortunately. And Rashford goes all the way over to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Celebrates with him. And on the hour mark, Jonathan Bamba's been subbed on. Hazard's been moved into Cam. He cuts in. Gets past Fred. Gets past... Not sure who that was. I think it was Rousselon, actually. And the ball is played to Pepe, who's inside the D on the edge of the box. And he just fires that one into the opposite corner. 3-2. We restore our lead. And with half an hour left, we are just looking to add to that lead... And get as many goals as possible. And just increase the gap between us and Man United in this game. Benteleb plays the ball to Hazard. First time through to Bamba. And Hazard's gone and got another assist. He has quite a few already. And he's only played three games. He is a really good signing. And how much are we signing for again? Oh yeah, we, we got him for free. Yeah, yeah, we did. Benteleb. He's going to play down Jonathan Bamba. 15 minutes left in this one. He's going to repay the favour to Eden Hazard. At 75 minutes in, we make the game 5-2. We seal the deal. We are now going to lift the Super Cup. As the Champions League team should beat the Europa League team in the Super Cup. But I'm going to leave you with the trophy celebration. Kurt Zuma is going to lift the trophy. And then I will see you for the player of the match and the outro. rating as he is in most games in real life i hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode if you have please like subscribe and peace